I got eight of these to do. So then I'll do uh, put some black here. Move this down a little bit. I want to move this down to this knuckle. Or maybe that's too long. That's what I got to figure out. So maybe that should be bent there. Do there. It's better to have them too long than too short, so I can always snip that off if necessary. So. See that pipe cleaner holds that wool in pretty good. Maybe the best thing to do is do all your legs first, then put them on. I don't know. We'll find out. And then keeping track of where you are, because there's so many legs. May not be fun. So this is all just for placement, and then you can go back and perfect. Now this one came out too. So I don't have that in there good enough. See there's a hole there. It's my first tarantula. So I gotta work out the kinks. I think I would have a little bit of this around there on this side, just like the other. Don't stab yourself. It should help to hold this in place. Here is the uh, tarantula. So far, this is the back body that I'm gonna put on here. Now, I realized, duh. See, I have these hairs. Which way did this rascal go? I think it goes this way. All right, so I got to get that on there. I need to add some more of these little hairs. Eee! It's creepy. But anyway, dummy me 
looking at this, I, I had them stuck in this round part, his abdomen, abdomen. But they really go in the thorax. All eight legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then these two in the front, I don't know what those are, but here they are. I got it. I still have to do this one. And you can see that I've gotten just a couple of legs done. Now, this is a little sloppy here. I need to work on that, you know, and it's pretty hairy. But what I thought was really cool is <laughs> the eyes. See, I got uh, two big eyes. I looked up uh, tarantula faces. And so I got two big eyes and then one, two, three, four little eyes. So whatever it's doing, it sure can see what's coming after it. So I'm going to finish piping these. You know, I'm just going to go down a little bit more. I think these legs might be a little too big. And then I'm going to bend them the way I want them. So let's see, where did I leave off? All right, what leg is that? That leg's okay. So this leg, so there would be black there and a little yellow here. So I pulled out my uh, ochre color and I stretched it so that I can just wrap this around. This saves a lot of time. And then I just poke it in, you know, like that. right use my needle to wrap it around but it's actually better you know what I'm discovering with this process is if I had my black on then I can knit all of it together as well so keep that in mind and then it just you know see I can do that can you see that and I don't know, some wool is more attaching than other wool. And this is a finer fiber. I need to learn more about the types of wool. So this is all an experiment. Don't poke yourself there. And you can see I didn't put orange on every single one because you really don't need it. This needs a little more. You know, and then here's a little hazard is um, these little pipe cleaners. You know, if there's not enough wool on there, that's going to stick out. And I also noticed on this back leg, it's got a little, I don't know, you know how a dog has an extra toe up here? Well, this has one there. I suppose I could put it in, what the heck. I'll just ball up some black and put it up under there. Uh, you see what I mean? That, dub that over, put that there. Squish it down. little details. I don't know if this is going to make a difference or not. Sometimes you got to edit. But I guess maybe that's where when they stand up acts like a tripod and they won't fall over. Maybe that's it. Pretty good engineering. So see that little nub? That needs more work. Well, that would make sense if he stood up and that acted like a little tripod. to be a little longer. 